Weird fact you didn't know about the Louvre. So my wife and I went to the Louvre Art Museum in Paris, France today. And it was really an awesome experience. But the crazy thing that I learned about the Louvre, the largest art museum in the world, is that it wasn't always an art museum. Rather, at first, back in like the 12th century, the entire thing was actually a fortress, and the stone you can see here is part of that foundation. The next thing that happened was that the entire thing was converted into a palace, but after the whole revolution thing happened, well, th there wasn't a need for a palace anymore. The royals kind of lost their heads. And so after that, it really starts to make its transition into being a museum, but then Napoleon happens and he hard pushes for this to be a museum. So much so that he renames the entire thing to the Museum of Napoleon, like, it, like it's his museum. So Napoleon does the whole Napoleon thing and conquers a bunch of stuff all across Europe and steals all of their artwork to put inside of his museum, taking the number of like 530 pieces of art to several thousand. He stole so much that after the Napoleonic Wars, over 5,000 pieces of art actually had to be returned to their home countries. Like that was part of the peace deal. 